Hello everybody and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Engineering, a show in which we cover various engines, their abilities and what decks they can be used in most efficiently. The topic of today's video is, again, not released in the TCG, but it will be in about a week. It's BIRDS! Fluent is an archetype of wind and water winged beast monsters that are one of the core selling points of Burst of Destiny booster set. With the card's core mechanic introduced and explained yesterday by Tom Box in a Konami sponsored introductory video, link in the description, I would say most people are at least familiar with the birds' playstyle. The Fluent Rees did see some short-lived competitive success after its initial release in the OCG, but it's not really that impressive, but it was still there. I haven't been able to actually find any data regarding using Flunderies as an engine, but that doesn't mean it cannot be used as one. There are two cards that make the base of the engine and two others that are basically the end goal. Therefore, let's go through the main ones first and afterwards we'll go through the others. This little guy is a combo starter for the engine. It can search a level 4 lower wing beast monster and gives the user an immediate normal summon afterwards. The list of targets for Robina is immense, 183 to be exact. Out of all of those, only one is viable outside of the other Fluent Ares monsters, and that is Barrier Statue of Stormwinds. So basically, Robina grabs you the next part of the engine. Eaglin, similar to Robina, can grab a monster, but in his case, it's a level 7 or higher. So it can either grab the big Fluent Ares monsters, Urban Immortals, Apex Avian, or Mega Ryza. So uh, it gives you access to the engine's end goal. This is either Manfredi or John. Johnson. I can't really tell. Anyway, this burb can fetch you a flu under his spell trap and afterwards allow you for an additional normal summon. Nothing much to say about this fella. Oh, right. You can also have the stats of an opponent's special summon monster when attacked. If you ask me, this is one of, if not the most, powerful stun counter trap in the game. It does give the opponent three normal summons during the turn, which might be frowned upon. However, it also prevents the opponent from special summoning for the remainder of the turn. Since all X for the summon are considered a, a type of a special summon, flipping this card basically ends the opponent's turn. The fact you cannot control a special summon monster can complicate things since the trap can be rendered useless with the help of a kaiju. This is the other big burb you can use as the end goal for the flu under his engine. I think it's the most practical and is only waiting for a deck to break it. Why is that, you might wonder? Remember that Brilliant Fusion or the Symphonic Warrior engines those were able to provide the player with one additional normal summon. Snow can provide two additional normal summons. On top of that is a walking book of eclipse for special summon monsters. Since, uh, like I mentioned previously, there's no data regarding the engine from the OCG, once again I'll have to provide you with my version, both upon it as you see fit. Why am I going with stray shows? Well, that's rather simple. Robina is the starter, so it's the card that you want to see most frequently. While the rest of the engine is searchable and would only clog the hand if played in more copies. There are a few advantages to this engine. The biggest one is, of course, the additional normal summons. Some of the most crucial or powerful effects trigger upon a normal summon. Additionally, the size of the engine is a big plus with 67 cards. There's one rather crucial downside to the flow under its engine, and that is the lack of special summons. You see, little burbs prevent the player from special summon during the turn their effects are used. Also, the counter trap won't trigger if the owner controls a special summoned monster, making kaiju a threat to that line of play. While on the topic of kaijus, the engine's end goal is establishing one big boss burb, and no matter how you slice it, it's a perfect kaiju bait. To be perfectly honest, you can technically use this engine in pretty much everything. I would suggest though to use it in a deck heavily reliant on normal summoning, something like your Senju, Monarchs, and probably something else that I cannot name off the top of my head. This marks the end of this video. If you like this kind of content or found it interesting, remember to like, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Jacolo signing out. Peace?